Lana Scott, welcome to Halloween. Guys, this is, um, I wanted to do a live reading, but our Wi-Fi has been so bad, I am not able to do that this evening. So instead, we've set up this for you. I've got my map out here. For any extra inspiration or anything it wants to tell me um, about places, people, and things. I've got my beloved um, um, Deck of the Dead. I've got my Time Travelers, Portals, Places, and the River. And whatever else that they tell me that they want me to pull. So, this reading. I want this... To, um, and I'm, of course, dressed up for Halloween. If you look at my community page, you'll see that I've uploaded some pictures that we took. And, um, yes, I am definitely dressed up for Halloween. So, um, I am not quite sure how this is all going to work. But I tell you what, I will show you the cards. And I am, um, I'm really, um... Wanting to just do something I've never done before. So we're going to begin. So we've got a candle here. We've got some extra light here. I was going to do it just by candlelight. But guys, I'm getting old, so I have classes, so I can see. One of the first things I wanted to do was I wanted to involve the beloved dead deck, which I've been studying. Um, I usually try to go completely on my intuition, but I wanted, if anybody's ancestor wanted to come through, I really wanted them to speak to you. So, um, I'm going to kind of play this by ear. First of all, I just want to ask, um, this being Halloween and the veil being so thin, what energies are present? What do we need to know about going into the future? What do we need to know that's that's going to change humanity, make humanity better? Um, um, what is going to uh, really start standing out to people as they go into the future? Because we already know what our past is. We already know where we've been, what we've done, um, even if we don't know it all. And... Um, so, what does humanity, what do, what do people, or even specific messages for specific people, what kind of energies do they need to know about what's going on right now? Earlier, I got a card of activation. This time, I got um, a card having to do with boundaries. And I think that going into the future, instead of feeling like there's just stronger boundaries, I think... People are going to realize that there's too many boundaries in some sort of way. That there's um, powers coming to be that's trying to keep um, whatever that may be. Trying to keep people in the... Um, I don't want to say sheep mentality. Um, keep you in, the, keep people in the mentality of what they don't know, what won't hurt them. And I'm feeling like that's going to be in the future, especially. I feel like that's going to be exposed. I feel like a lot of people are going to um, start stepping up and um, ask us to be really listening to their intuition more than they ever have before. I think more people are going to jump on that bandwagon. More people are going to say, hey, I've been getting visions. I've been getting uh, feelings because we're evolving. We're upgrading. We're getting, um, I, I don't feel like, I feel like community in general is doing that, but I don't think everybody is going to understand what they're feeling, what they're thinking. I'm not saying that none of that we're all stupid. I'm just saying some people don't want to know. You know what I mean? They're comfortable where they're at. They don't want to change. They want things to stay the same. Whereas there's other other groups, other people that want to speak out, um, make a difference, make decisions that even their own families would go, well, of everything you've ever done, that's the one thing that's the craziest. And them to go, I don't care. I have to do this. And they're feeling pulled by their heartstrings. They're, they're, um, 
their their sacral chakras, they're feeling like their very center is opening them up and saying, I have to make a difference now. I have to go into the future. I have to make a difference. It's going to be important to me, my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. my uh, And people are going to start making more positive, dramatic changes going into the future um, than what they ever have before. Um, and I'm, we've done some pretty dramatic things, at least here in the States. I don't know about other countries. I do have my state map laying out here, and I was going to pull some energies for specific places, but we had already decorated the table before I realized we didn't have the map deck down, or the map um, down. So I'm going instead with what made, what energies are going around now. And um, maybe the map does have something, does have some energies to pull. You have to use your own intuition and discernment, okay? What just flipped? Um, stability um and even though i know this this is face up i think people are searching for a different type of stability i think that we are um looking for where we don't have to struggle as much anymore where we um are feeling pulled and called and led to go i feel like there's going to be ways and means um i feel like so okay so they're showing me someone that <clears throat> going into the future or um has this idea or, or has something they want to do and they're scared about where they're traveling to but as they go there there's people to help them along along the way they go from one place to another they're bringing everything with them and when they go they find the people places and things that are meant to help them it just seems like that's an extension. It's like they step through a doorway of some sort. Of where they're looking for information. They find the information. And they also find other people that are supportive of them. I can't remember what this tree is called. But I think it's like one of those um, dragon blood trees. And if you're a pagan, you know what I mean by dragon blood. Others, it's not literally dragon blood. It's an herb, like resin. It's like frankincense or myrrh. I actually have some. But um, I don't know if this is the tree. But I know these trees only grow in one part of the world. The whole world. And I can't think of what they're called. Okay. So that may be a message for someone. And I just had two cards literally fly out at me. So let's see what these are. Also with these energies. Uh, I got this the other day. Mm -mm. Guys, it just flew out. So I've got the freedom speech again. People are wanting a type of freedom they've never had before. This is the Martin Luther. This card is a 1963 card of I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King. And people are seeking freedom in different ways. It's not that we haven't always done that, but they're being more... I'm feeling like the energy of being more adamant, more of more people stepping forth to actually make a difference in those freedoms that they want than they've ever been able to before. And actually making change by actually speaking up and saying, okay, if we can't have this, then we're going to make sure you don't go, you're not in office again, or if it's, if it's, I, I don't, that's the, that's the feeling I'm getting, but I'm not sure if I'm putting it the right way. Um, People are going to actually get enough people to make a difference no matter what happens. Um, like, where the people make the difference one person at a time, but get into such big groups that they're, they are able to make a change in ways they never have before. I can't explain that any better than what I'm feeling. Wow, I thought I was going to fall off the table. It fell right on the on the table. I feel like my angels and ancestors are really close right now. Um, and then we also have activation and power. Okay? And to me, this is feeling like people are getting more activated with their higher minds or higher conscious minds. Right? And coming into power by brain evolution, by... Um, Knowledge evolution by um, just being activated, by studying things they've never studied before, learning about things they've never learned before, finding ways to do something with them. Um, and I'm just going to mention this briefly. I saw um, earlier, uh, was it today or yesterday? I actually went and looked at, um, I went and looked at a, um, a scroll that I scribe with Steph was doing, 
and she did one that had the um, Sears um, palm, or it's called something like that. But she had like the cave of ice, the cave of fire, the cave of winds. And I actually saw, while I was looking at them, I had this little vision of, I saw, um, like in some place where it normally doesn't happen, it got, it got rain swept. And something got uncovered, and there was some kind of information that was uncovered in a certain place that the information was really important. I can't remember all the comments that I made on Steph's reading there, but it's somehow people get somehow activated by it. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to try to um, in, in, in fear anymore. And um, what's the word? Um, but I feel like going in the near future, there's some kind of guys act listed that let's do this one next because um, <clears throat> it just I definitely feel like there's <clears throat> places. Let me pull a couple of place cards first. A couple of places where people are going to get. They just keep showing me people here, people there, going and 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 going places and. Something that they learn changes them in such a way that causes an activation in the chemicals in their brain or the way they think, the way they... Some kind of evolutionary leap. I don't know how to say it right. Um, so what kind of places? What kind of places? What kind of places? Some kind of sanctuary where the light suddenly comes in. It's like a flip of a switch. People get activated by that. Some kind of a flick of a switch. Okay? Or some of the places. Um, I got these ones last time. Park. Um, nature's Haven. Recreational Space. Picnic Retreat. A way out place for some of you somewhere that you don't ordinarily go when you're alone during a meditation or during a candle thing or maybe even a new meditation you've never done before some kind of light opens up inside of you that so it's not an actual place on this one it's a dawning of an understanding Seeing puzzle pieces you suddenly put together. You're being guided. This is a message for someone that's going to get lit up. Someone's going to do something they've never done before. And you are going to be, it's 13, it was 13.33 on the timer when I said that. 3.33, three, three. I've been seeing 3.33. Three, three, three. For the past two days, I saw it at a friend's house. I saw it in the time several times. I just saw it again. Um, three, 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 guys, just to tell you. So, somebody's going to get activated in some sort of way that is, you know, sometimes things happen to us that activate us as well. And we're so busy, we're so got so much going on that we really don't realize what it is. And then all of a sudden, you go, oh, like, I sometimes like to tell this little story of, there was a time when people would tell me jokes and I wouldn't get the punchline, I wouldn't understand it. It'd be two years later, I'd be driving my car and all of a sudden a song would spark that memory and I'd go, oh, really? Oh, that was it, now I get it. And it'd be two years later. So, sometimes though, I think those things happen because we're not always... Sometimes we know something that we're not meant to use at that time. And when you get that spark at a later date or that memory or that something that's talking to you, you suddenly realize that this is when you're supposed to use that information. And I think some of these... So, 
some of these things that, that we know, sometimes they come out to help just us. Other times they come out to help other people. And sometimes we have that one little, there's so many like somebody on a guitar, like one little chord, one little sound, one little major thing happens that makes you go, oh, and you, nothing's ever the same again. Does that make sense? You're, nothing's ever the same again. What else? What else do you want to tell us on this All oh, Hallows Eve? Something about roads, cross, um, turban, urban landscapes, pedestrian traffic, uh, crosswalks, sidewalks. So bumping into people. If you live, normally live in the country and you go to the city, you can be triggered. If you normally live in the city and you go to the country and you come back, you can be triggered. Multiple paths, turning point, divergent roads. And the one right after that is um, rendezvous. So meeting somebody you didn't expect to meet or even going and finding something that you're looking for takes you on a whole new, new path because you rendezvoused, you, you met someone, you, you did something, you learned something, you heard something, and it sends you on a whole other path that also can lead to your enlightenment. Okay? I'm going to take this one. On the bottom, heartbreak place, lost love and grief, memories of heartbreak, sometimes the loss of something important to you, a friend, a family member, a parent, a loved one, um, a best friend, can sometimes cause you to withdraw for a while and while you're healing, you're also on a learning journey because, especially if it's the first time it's ever happened to you, you are learning how how to deal with it. You're learning how to um, speak to other people about it. You learn how to speak when you need to and not speak when you, when you don't want to. Um, you come out of it after being healed, after you've been healed, when you go into the future, when you know somebody else that's had some kind of a loss, you kind of sometimes know what to say, not what, sometimes you don't know what to say, simply because you know how you felt, and you knew that no matter what somebody said to you, didn't really feel right. Other times, oh, that was just the right thing. I know this too will pass, or I know um, that they're in a better place, which it, it just depends on the person, right? But grief can trigger the biggest learning experience of your life. Trust me. And as somebody who has lost parent, both parents, um, a half-brother, um, several ex-husbands that are now passed away um an ex-boyfriend that i loved very much one of my grandchildren passed away grief can change you in a lot of ways it can also open up a lot of things for you it just takes time you just have to remember it can take time but it's another place where you can where you experience a lot of different things right what else what other what kind of places might open up what kind of places might open up during this wintry season somebody might learn something be triggered from something be changed forever um, suddenly understand something justice and punishments prisons and incarcerations you might feel that you've been incarcerated because of get grief that you felt like you weren't you weren't, you just hibernated for a while, like, like the Hierophant, like you were waiting to heal. Sometimes, a lot of wisdom comes through that. So it might be another place, 
where after coming out of it, where you're suddenly understanding different things. What else? One more. Watching Sentinel, Symbol of Hope, Changing Light, Lighthouse. What is the universe showing you that you're not seeing? What kind of hope are you seeing that you're not wanting to hear, you're not wanting to talk about, you're not wanting to feel, you're not wanting to sense. What kind of hope are you seeing and knowing it's there, but you're just ignoring it? I still keep hearing that in, and this too shall pass in my head. Okay, so this holiday, this, uh, this season... What kind of um, portals can open up? Uh oh. This one should have stayed down here. And I don't know how it got in this deck. But I'm going to show it to you. Transformation. This is a time of transformation. You'll be stronger. You'll be. If you face your fears, let a lot of things go that really don't matter and realize what's important to you. You're going to do a lot of transforming over, over this, over the next, I don't know, there's not, there's not really a time to this reading, guys. But you're meant to transform. You're meant to be stronger. You're more than you think you are. You just got to give yourself some credit. I don't know how that got into this deck. <laughs> but, you know, there's no accidents, right? So what kind of portals might open up during this time? Um... I just did that on another reading. I don't know how they got mixed in there. I usually put all my cards back. Breakthrough. So some kind of breakthrough too. Let me make sure there's no other cards in here. It's weird that that would happen. I could have swore I'd put those in that deck. And it's funny because I was looking at a past reading by one of my um, other... Um, I haven't listened to her in a long time, but her name is Baba Jolie. And I was looking at a video of her. And it was like a video from two years ago. I had saved it to my playlist, and I just happened to look at it. And she found a card from another deck in her deck as she was shuffling. So for me to now find that in one of mine, it's really, it's Halloween. <laughs> so what kind of portals might be opened up now? What do they? Do, what do I just need to tell them? What do they just need to know? This one was just another reading too, guys. Soul star activation, fulfilling soul cards. Remembering who you are. Past lives coming to the light. So, some of you are going to have... I'm hearing dreams. Angels coming in. Again, it's another activation. Going through doorways in your mind. Going through, breaking through the glass ceiling. Breaking through the, breaking through the, breaking through something. Lemurian seed codes. Uniqueness, living with grace. There are going to be some of you who are going to be activate. Some of you, some of you that are meant to be spiritual leaders in the future, that are meant to be, rather you live it or you don't. Some of you are, I just keep feeling like some of you are in the near future going to be coming into your power. You're going to be coming into your being activated by different things going on. I already got got some kind of a message from um, the angels about um, that one, during the um, Ring of Fire solar eclipse that we had. They were saying some kind of portal opened up behind that. Some kind of channel. Some kind of um, it, that particular type. The Ring of Fire and the moon on the side. It opened up some kind of energetic thing, doorway, portal... Um, 
and it's meant to transform something going into the future. Um, and I'm not really sure. I cannot seem to give a name to it. They don't seem to be giving me a name that I can, um, or something that, even a feeling or an emotion to it. Just that it's some kind of major change and breakthrough. And that's all they keep giving me. And it's, and it's like they stand back and they go, yes, you got it. But I'm like, that doesn't help me. But they're like, that's as clear as they're going to, or as much information as they're going to give me. Okay. So they're showing me like little outlines of other people. They're saying all of us have a piece of the puzzle. Something about the soothsayers. I don't consider myself a soothsayer, but. All right, what else? Oh. Um, clear to divine healing. High vibrational energy. Just more high vibrational energy coming in, guys. Meant to change everything. What's the myth of the crystal skull? I know they found one at one point. Somebody had taken a large rock and made it into a skull, of all things. Like... Information of the dead. Oh. Information of the dead. So this is the beloved dead. What kind of, what um what messages um from our ancestors or passed on loved ones might someone need to hear at this time? So, I got the privilege card and then expectation. So, somebody might have some ancestors that at one time were um, felt they were very privileged and they had expectations that they were to be treated a certain way, acted, you know, um, they thought money would could buy anything. They thought that they were entitled to anything. They had expectations of anything. Does anyone have any relatives like that in their past? And then we have haunted. We have perception. Your perceptions might be per per kind of uh, per um, per um, messed up, or um, your perception might not be um, telling. I can't even say it the right way. Um, I'm trying to put, a, put words to this feeling they're showing me. And it's kind of... Um, they're, um, yeah, that's it. But that's it. Your per your perception might not be as clear as you think it is. You might not actually be knowing. Um, you might be in some type of competition. And over time, you might be realizing something that you've been not actually seeing and it's been really bothering you this feels like a personal message coming through someone is privileged or feels privileged has certain expectations and because they're not seeing things right they're feeling haunted but and they're they're very competitive but over time They're going to realize the error of their ways is what I just heard. Oh, my goodness. That was definitely a message for someone. That was definitely a message. Okay, what about a message for somebody else? So that might be some pe some people's ancestors that have come through, but it also might be something for you in particular. Oh yes, this was 
Okay, so somebody's ancestor is pointing all this out them out to them because the very next card is grave. This ancestor has already passed on and they're trying to tell you in a message in some sort of way from this. Really? I'm hearing somebody did something wrong because they thought they were privileged. <laughs> Okay, it's not a laughing matter. Yes, I realize it's not a laughing matter. So, um, y'all like my hat? <laughs> Look at my hat. <laughs> it won't stand up straight anymore, but it's a costume, right? So, and then I've got the green and black dress on. You can't really see it, but yeah. So, somebody's ancestor who's already passed on, they're trying, okay. I'm with them, and I'm trying to show them the error of their ways. That's exactly what I'm hearing. So somebody out there is going to see this message at some point. Your ancestors are trying to tell you that they're trying to get you, you somehow got off the path and they're trying to tell you, show you the error of your ways and get you back on the path. And it's somebody that's already passed on who loves you very much. I'm just going to take that one just the way it came to me. As this that way we're going to, yeah. Anything else? Somebody may be feeling invisible. Something else you may be activated from. And this, this relative may actually visit you. Or you may have visitors coming to see you. Or this passed on loved one. Because you're feeling invisible or they're invisible. Take that how it resonates for you. You may be feeling them. You may be feeling this relative talk to you or literally feel somebody behind you. You turn around, nobody's there. You're being very stubborn and not wanting to listen, and they're trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody that loves you very much is trying to help you. Seen that message. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the river. And whatever comes into my head with these cards, because I, I, um, I get messages from these cards, but not as easily as I do some of the other ones. So I've decided to just ask them to show me or tell me about future things. And, um, because they're not very distinct cards, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they are just kind of, um, paint slathered on a canvas, but the author, the, the uh, painter felt something when he painted them, right? Mr. Bancock. So let's see, going into the future, what things behind the scenes are going on that we need to know about, or what do you want to tell us about the future? Next year. Next season. So this is the talk to the animals card. This is somebody that's very in tune with animals and other things. She's more in tune with other things other than people. Okay? And they speak to her in a lot of different ways. She gets a lot of different messages from them. Going into the future, she doesn't do well with people. So she's got her heart on her sleeve, but her heart's getting really hard. Okay? Um, it feels like there's a way of power coming to her. But she's not going to be able to, because of the person she is, she's not going to be able to lead by her heart. It feels like she's going to be on a string, whoever this is for. 
on a string. And she's not going to lead by her heart like she wants to. And her intuition works differently than everybody else. Nor is she going to be able to use it that way. She's not going to be able to use it that way. Not the way that she wants to. She's going to feel like she's losing control. She's going to feel like she's being chained up. So this is a message for someone else. Take this how it resonates. Also, she's not going to be able to lead the way she wants to lead or the way she wants to go with her group. She's wanting to go one way, but they're going to tell her she has to do it this way. And she's not going to realize the power that she has and that she can make that decision. And she is going to... It's going to be a very... It's going to be very heartbreaking for her. Whoever this mess that message is for... Disillusionment. So I don't know what that one's all about. Um, um, let's see. Uh, what about the um, star seed deck? Those that have star seed energy, what would you like to tell them? You're not alone. So this is a new message for someone, your angels and ancestors and spirit guides are wanting you to know that you're not alone, that they're there to help you. Whatever the case may be. A new earth is coming, inner earth. That you'll survive all this. So if somebody's going through a rough time, your angels and ancestors are wanting you to know that you will... Ad okay, so they're showing me somebody that... Um, feels like they were meant to be born in another time frame, and but they were born in this one, and they're like, but I feel like I should have been born back in another century, but maybe you possibly were, but the thing, of the, the matter, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you're still kind of basically the same, but this is the lifetime that you're meant to shine, and you may actually have been the same for several different lifetimes, they're saying, and that going into the future, this is the year that your soul is meant to spread, grow, change, speak up, speak out, be radical in some sort of way. That would be totally abby normal for you. Okay. You're meant to show your spark. This is the blue flame. You're definitely meant to step up and shine your light in a way you never have before in any past lifetime. Deep cellular healing through all your many lifetimes. See these doorways? See these doorways she's coming through? You are meant to shine your light because this is probably your... I don't want to say that. Oh, they're missing saying say that. <laughs> this is probably your last incarnation, whoever this message is for. And this is where you're meant to make a difference on earth because once you... If the, when you, in the future... You're meant to make a difference in the spirit world as well. Did I get that right? Yeah. 
Um, so, so I don't, this doesn't have a time frame on it or anything, but it's actually very positive because it's saying this is where you get the, the alchemy, you get the, you get the break through the boundaries of your own soft soul. Let's make sure I got it right. Soft soul to speak out and make the difference to become a powerhouse powerhouse in some sort of way yes yes that's exactly right some sort of power okay all right so um bring in a conscious night so this is already starting to happen in your subconscious mind you already know this on a basic cellular level and it's coming through for you going into the future all you need is a little bit more courage. You need to actually look past how you feel about everything and speak up the, in the way that your heart is telling you to. You're meant to be part of a tribe of... Okay, they're saying this is the last one. Perspective, your perspective. You're meant to be... How do I say this? You're meant to be part of... Oh. Okay. So, this is... So... They're saying this isn't... This is not somebody that's grown yet. So, somebody... This is a message for somebody that this may be one of your children grandchildren, nieces, nephews. Um, they're one of these golden children. I've gotten messages about these golden children before. So, this is a message for somebody that has a family member or a friend's family member that you're really close to that their child is one of these golden children and you're meant to help that's what this is right here. You're meant to help them to be the one that's going to do great things in the future. Now they're showing me Harry Potter, of all things. Harry Potter, really? Um, you're observing from afar, but you're giving... That child's going to come to you one day, in particular, and ask you for help, and you're going to help them. That's why they're showing me Harry Potter. You're like a... Godmother, Godfather, um, some type of energy like that. Rare gifts. You have to make sure this, this, whoever this message is for, you need to make sure this child knows that they have the gift. Because their own mom and dad may not see it, but you see it. You see it and you care enough to do something about it. You're going to be their mentor. They're going to be able to come to you, but you're not pushy about it. You're not going to be, um, yeah, anytime mom and dad doesn't, you know, come, no. You're going to stand back and let them come to you. Because if you, you already know, if you try to push the issue, either mom and dad's going to say something, or you're going to push them away. Maybe because they're supposed to be very family orientated. And maybe both parents work and they're just not as nurturing as they could be. So take this how this resonates, okay? Because all of this... All this has to do with everybody's perspective, okay, and how you're viewing it, and if this message was meant for you, okay? So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This was the Halloween edition. Um, I post every, And I got quite clear various messages here for various people. I hope something resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, guys, I, Daniel actually set most of this up, and I just want to show you all one more time how adorable that is. We even have the one with the uh, little candlelight in it. <laughs> Alright guys, happy Halloween!